Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. Suppose there are two cell phone towers within range of a cell phone. The two towers are located 6,000 feet apart along a straight highway running east to west and the cell phone is north of the highway. Based on the signal delay, it can be determined that the signal is 5,050 feet from the first tower and 2,420 feet from the second tower. Determine the position of the cell phone north and east of the first tower and determine how far it is from the highway. So here is now our figure. There are three items that we want to find here. Number one, what is this angle here? Second, if we drop this line segment that is perpendicular to the highway from the cell phone, we are forming here a right angle and we would like to find that distance from the first tower to the foot of perpendicularity here and second what is the distance of this cell phone to the highway so let's call this distance here as our x variable and the height here as the variable y now let's solve this problem together let's assign variables for the vertices of the triangle let's call this as our vertex a vertex b and this is vertex c by convention opposite vertex a is side denoted as small letter a also opposite this vertex B is the side denoted as small b and opposite vertex C is the side denoted as small c. Now what we are given here is triangle ABC which is an oblique triangle. This is not a right triangle. And when we are dealing with oblique triangle, we can either use the law of sines or the law of cosines. When the given are the length of the three sides of the triangle, then that is the signal that we are going to use the law of cosines which is given by this formula. So our unknown angle here is angle A denoted by theta and opposite this angle is the side with a length of 2420 that is our A. Then our B is 5050, our C is 6000. All we have to do is substitute that in this formula. So let's perform the computation now. Let's emphasize that what we have here is an oblique triangle. This is not a right triangle. So applying now this law of cosines formula, we substitute sides A, B, and C into the formula. And the only variable that is unknown here is the measure of the angle, which we are now going to solve. So square 2,420, square 5,050, square 6,000, and then multiply 2 times 5,050 times 6,000. These are the numbers that you will arrive at. Then copy cosine theta. Then we can add these two terms together and we can now subtract this number from here and we'll get a negative value here. Then dividing this negative number by another negative number will get a positive value for cosine theta. So all of these are calculator computation. Now when you arrive here you have 0.9183 equals cosine theta. And to solve now for the angle we are going to use the inverse cosine so our cosine of 0.9183 gives us a value of approximately 23.3 degrees for the measure of angle CAB denoted as theta. So we now know what is the measure of that angle. Next is going back to the problem we want to know what is the position of the cell phone north and east of the tower. So we want to know what is the measure of this leg of this right triangle which is denoted as x and the other one is this vertical distance which is denoted as y and in here remember that we now have a right triangle because we drop a perpendicular line segment from the cell phone going to the highway and since we have a right triangle we can use the right triangle trigonometry so let's recall that with respect to the angle theta, this side denoted as x is the adjacent side and this side with a measure of 5050 feet is the hypotenuse and adjacent over the hypotenuse is cosine. So the cosine of the angle is equal to x over 5050. Here our angle is 23.3 degrees. So solving for x, we multiply both sides by 5050 and using our calculator, we have a value of x to be approximately equal to 4,638.15 feet. That is the measure of this side here. Next, 
To find this height here of this yellow triangle denoted by y, we use the sine function. Sine is opposite over the hypotenuse, so sine of 23.3 degrees is equal to y over 5050 feet. Multiplying both sides by 5050 and using calculator to find the value of sine 23.3 degrees and multiply that by 5050, we have y to be approximately equal to 1,997.5 feet. And so these are now the three values that you would like to find in this problem. We already found what is the measure of the angle, and we need this measurement of the angle so that we can determine the position of the cell phone east and north of tower A. So with respect with this tower, this cell phone is 4,638.15 feet and with respect to this tower also, the cell phone is 1,997.5 feet away from the highway. And these are now our final answers. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.